Molly. <laughs> this is wild. December and Allie and I were both sick, which was gonna make it hard to complete the cabin before the heavy snow rolled in. There's a lot of boughs laying down in the middle there, thick, <laughs> like two feet thick of them. I'm gonna be dragging stuff for a while. If I wasn't sick, this is so enjoyable. This is the type of stuff I look forward to once this place is finished, but I, I was gonna trim. I was gonna work on the trim inside. You just feel like you're getting set back when you have something like this happen. And you are, but it's also life. And uh, a good reminder that there will always be setbacks. This is just how this half of the year's been. And can't fret about it. All you can do is get to work. So I moved as many branches as I could before I ran out of gas and made the path down at least passable for now, and then went home and focused on rest before returning again. Well, we got a beautiful weekend on the horizon. It's Friday today, it's gorgeous out, not a cloud in the sky beautiful tomorrow as well and then Sunday it says 50% chance of snow so high hopes that we get some some actual coverage I uh, just got to the cabin we're gonna stay overnight but we got a bunch of things to do tomorrow out of town so we'll see how much we end up getting done but I'm um, very excited because we're going to pick up one of my old vehicles that's been in the shop for over two years and actually I've been thinking a lot about all my vehicles and stuff, and I think I'm gonna be selling some, and this might be one of the first ones on the list. So if you're interested in this, definitely drop a comment, let me know. I might not sell everything till the spring, but we'll see how it goes. What a glorious day. I'm grateful to be here. Um, so, I figure you're gonna be sanding, right? Yeah. So we'll set up your sanding station that way. And then I'm gonna be cutting beams here. So. Here, if I lift up these beams, can you move the sawhorse closer? Talking. Mm 
This is not going to be easy. Going in. I don't know. I did grab something though. For a second. Well, it's in. Oh yeah. She. So what do you do about when you the wind <laughs> no trim? I'm gonna pop it off. Yeah. So trying to cut these this beam trim, like. And uh, Mason let me borrow his big skill saw, which does work really well, but it started overheating and smoking and it's cutting really slow and it doesn't seem like the blades dull or anything i don't know what's what's up with it but i need to let that cool off and rest and hopefully it's still okay and then try to use the little milwaukee battery chainsaw to finish the job on this beam and it just like kills the batteries i don't know what it is they're in there for two seconds and then the saw stops I feel like my tools are just not working right now. It's so weird how this happens. And then I go and get my real chainsaw, which I wish I could use more of, but I try to be as quiet as I can when I'm down here. Um, and the blade is just completely dull. <laughs> it's This is what happens when you just, you know, I'm sure I doled this doing something stupid and then just put it back in the shed and forgot about it. And it's so frustrating when you come to use it after months and forget it, what had happened and then you can't because it's dull so i really want to finish these beams today i got to figure this out and i can't wait to have a clean shed where things are organized and my tools are tip-top shape because that makes all the difference when you're trying to complete a project <clears throat> all right here we go let's find a solution from Ed and Casey, where I had dropped it off in the spring of 2020, and I drove it home in the dying light, reminiscing on how different my life and my entire mindset was just two years ago. Let me try. 
driven, it's got to get used. Now to wake up, shake the dust. <laughs> this thing's crazy. Only got 4,000 miles on the tack. It used to be a fire truck. It was barely used. It's got a PTO. I just had a bunch of work done to it. I'll show you the list of work I had done to it. But I love this thing, but I'm just trying to simplify. I don't need another project. But I think to, for the right person, this is a great truck. This would be a life changer. I wanted to turn this into a dump truck, but I, now that John's got a dump truck, I, I just can't rationalize doing that. I need to stop finding things to spend more money on and try to save some money. You're not gonna find another drop coffee one. Not with this story. Parking the old beauty, it was back to work on the beams, with the goal to finish the ceiling trim before bed. That evening, a nearly full moon rose and illuminated the landscape all around us. And so we had a productive night, and the next morning, Allie had to leave early. But I stayed behind to continue working, as this was the last clear day we had before the forecasted winter storm would arrive. Man, the river looks so gorgeous in this light. I gotta go start up the red truck, just, just to see, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna drive it anywhere, but nothing like starting up an old machine in the morning light.
With the ceiling trim done and most of the last wall, it was time for final beams to be cut. After a few distractions, of course. So Allie had a workout class early, so she left. I slept in a little bit. Still, still recovering from being sick. Not 100% yet, but getting close. It's a pristine day. It's very cold. I still have one last beam trim to do, so I'm gonna cut that up. It's a little bit more complicated of a cut, so we'll see how it goes but my goal is to at least do that and then I can start trimming around some of the windows. That sound right there, the wind through the drying out beech leaves, that's stick season all right. And by the way, my winter coffee blends are live now. Uh, the link is always in the video description. There's cozy up and hunker down. Also, I added a bunch of winter puzzles to my merch store and there's a lot of winter prints too. There's a couple new things in there. And one last thing, I'm gonna be very candid with you. I just lost one of my biggest sponsors for no reason. They left me out to dry in December here. Um, so I preserved ad slots for them, my most expensive primetime ad slots for the holidays, and then they dropped me. So I not only lost their guaranteed income, but I it's too late to get anybody else. And so your support, buying the coffee, buying the merchandise, and supporting on Patreon is what makes these stories happen. So thank you so much for all of you that continue to support. I'm not sure what was going on with my batteries the day prior, but I was able to get the saw working again and finish the beam cut swiftly. I had bought these old beams off my buddy Jack after he disassembled an old house on his property. And I used some of the stronger ones for the staircase and saved a few of the more decrepit ones for various trims. And just as I was prepping breakfast, my mom showed up as she needed a hand cutting some stovepipe for the little red house. All right, it. Yeah, I figured um, you said you'd help, but I, I think all I need you to do is to cut the, the stovepipe, so I brought it. Here, check it out. We did, um, I Ooh. finally got the beams up. Oh, wow. <laughs> what you do, cut them in half? Yeah, they're gonna be the more challenging cuts because I have to cut out these posts so that it like uh -huh. slides over that. But it's gonna look so good. And then dado, that'll... that's called a dado cut. Really? Uh, when you, I think so. Yeah. Hmm. It just came to me. I remember art. You know. Yeah, that's a dado.
There's no stronger wind than the one that blows a lonesome railroad line. No prettier sight than looking back on a town you left behind. There's nothing quite as real as the love that's in my mind. Close your eyes, I'll be there in the morning. Close your eyes, I'll be there for a while. And so I finished that whole situation off and was feeling good. And I headed to town to meet Allie, take a hot shower, and bundle up for the holiday walk around our little mill town. Successful day. The hardest trim is out of the way. Now it's time to go on a little holiday walk around town. There's no snow, but hopefully it helps get in the feeling a little bit. Feeling good, feeling tired, excited to get back there tomorrow and keep going. Sweet Peas is giving out free ice cream right now. Are they? Oh. 
walked all through town, grabbing bits of food and hot chocolate at the local businesses, ending at the community house in front of the glowing windows of Union Block as the giant moon rose. It had me dreaming of Christmas past and all things winter, and we were on our toes for such a feeling as the first real storm was set to be rolling in in just a few hours. Yeah. I also have this for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's pretty sweet of you. <laughs> <laughs> These are the different kinds that I got for the oh, nice. wreaths. Fat quarter, they call it. Yeah. I forget why my grandma Cindy explained it to me. Huh. But it is. I can't wait to get a fire going. This is about to be so cozy. Oh. oh. So I'm just doing a bunch of little trim stuff today, nothing real exciting. Allie's making some wreaths, put some at the end of the driveway. It is just gorgeous outside. I just want to be walking through the woods. So probably will do that at some point, go check out down by the river, but oh, it's just so nice to see snow. Thank you. 
Decided we're gonna stay overnight because it's supposed to snow all into the night and we can't miss this and we might as well get as much done as we can but we gotta go get some more boards yeah we do should be the last round of trim boards and this is gonna be one of the first times Whoa. <laughs> that the trooper gets to test out the four-wheel drive I tried it one other time and it worked really really well but we'll see how she does now Man, it has piled up since we drove in. It was Possibly barely covered. three around. inches. Yeah, that's great. That'll this this could be the base for the season. If this gets all crusty and hard and whatnot, it'll yeah. be a great undercoating for skiing and for snowmobiling. Yeah, I guess we should just get what we can. There's not a ton of great options, but... The owner of a local farm said I could pick at his old lumber that he had lying around. And so we grabbed every good board we could get at, with hopes that this would be all we needed for completion. Two alone are huge. Like, this, yeah. this is a lot of material.
and it was a glorious and productive night in the falling snow. And when we woke, there were cracks of blue sky and glimpses of morning sunshine. There's so much powder flying around. And we waterproofed our boots with Allie's Berkshire boot bomb that she makes from scratch before going on a morning walk down the snowy road. It adds so much character right off the bat. It just darkens it right up. Molly! <laughs> this is wild. Holy smokes. Oh. First time I've seen icicles this year. Oh. Trooper did fantastic in the snow. Thing is a beast. Couldn't be happier. I didn't think it was gonna keep snowing. Oh, I guess it's not bad. too like you could buff it in with your hand because it's chemical free like it's just going to moisturize your hands too <laughs> seems like the weather stick is uh depicting the snow i gotta look into it is it just precipitation or is it temperature it what's well, barometer right so the wetness in the air i guess even though today is looking nice, it will probably come back up once it gets more sun and stuff, but I guess that's left over from last night in the snowstorm. It's pristine out. Rest we're gonna be what?
Yeah, we can just walk in the trap. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted some coffee. Me too. Go to the diner after this power up for the work. <laughs> Which diner? You know the one. We haven't had many opportunities to simply walk down this road and listen to the birds, as we're always working when we're at the cabin. So to do it after a snowstorm on a sunshine morning was a real treat. Crazy in one day, snap your fingers and now it really feels like winter. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> there would be nothing like a big plate of eggs and a hot cup of coffee on a morning like this. Well, that's what we're doing. <laughs> I know, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> and I haven't had a diner. <laughs> <laughs> and since we didn't pack for an overnight, we headed out to get breakfast and grabbed a few supplies for the cabin before the road became impassable for the season. Oh, I'm so happy it's winter. Yeah, there's always good little candies and whatnot. the canoe to avoid the inevitable slips on the now slick trail down.
so close to finishing the cabin. We just needed to get some countertops and a few other things down there to complete the job. But there was another storm on the books and time was dwindling. We had to get those old snowmobiles out of there and running while the road was still passable and tie up a bunch of other loose ends before we were officially in the palm of winter's hand. Mm-hmm. 